even though it's only been a few decades since flying became possible, our opinion of it has quickly swung from fascination to frustration. As we get lost in the details of the process, it's easy to forget how extraordinary it is that we can fly so far, so fast, or that we can even fly at all. For the moment, leave behind everything you know about airplanes. Anything you've heard about their history. Every conclusion you've drawn from your own experience. And prepare to see them again for the first time. All of human history has taken place here. But for most of our history, we didn't know the true size of our planet. In an earlier time, long before we could fly, there was no easy way to get around. There was no infrastructure, nor for that matter, any kind of transportation. Traveling from one distant place to another wasn't a matter of hours or days. It was a matter of lifetimes. To put things into perspective, we need to go back and trace our 200,000 year journey to the present. We began in Africa, the starting point of our migration. We set out on foot and braved the elements, making our way across the planet. Eventually, we made it to six continents. The last place we settled was at the southern tip of South America, the farthest point from Africa that could be reached by land. And it took us tens of thousands of years to get there. In ancient times, we rarely traveled more than 20 miles from where we were born. We saw more of the universe than we did of our own home, which is why we mapped the sky long before the Earth. Without any way to meet, entire civilizations would rise and fall without ever knowing of each other's existence. If we look at our history over the last 200,000 years, it's amazing to see just how long walking was our only means of transportation. Our 
our first breakthrough, the wheel. Attaching it to animals helped us get around more easily, but they could only go so fast and so far. Throughout most of the last 5,000 years, our top speed on land remained the same. When we mastered the sea, travel became faster, but our world became larger. We connected six continents and for the first time created a map of the world. Now if we fast forward to just 200 years ago, practically yesterday on the timeline of human history, Traveling through the air seemed no closer to becoming a reality. When our movement was limited, so were our options. This was how things were until we invented a machine that redefined speed. Instead of harnessing power, we created our own. When we put the steam engine on wheels, our lives really began to accelerate. to travel farther, but most long distance trips were still on way. A new kind of horsepower allowed us to connect thousands of small towns that trains couldn't reach. But no single mode of transportation could cross both land and sea. Then, less than a hundred years after we connected an engine to a wheel, we made a breakthrough that left the obstacles of the earth behind. Unlike cars and trains, they didn't need elaborate infrastructure. Just a place to take off and land. We didn't know it at the time, but that moment we took to the skies marked the beginning of a revolution.
In just a flicker of time, life on Earth changed forever. In a single century, aviation went from impossible to nearly perfected. thousand takeoffs and landings at any moment in time a quarter million of us are in the sky the network of airplanes is practically invisible yet their constant circulation is the lifeblood of the modern world Entering a portal to the planet. Each gate is a doorway. To another part of the world. In a sense, we're walking distance to almost anywhere. On the savannas of Africa, not much has changed in the last 200,000 years. But something does look different. Now, when we leave Africa, we're no longer limited in how far we can go. As we fly through the air, we can retrace the path of our migration and touch down anywhere along the way.
बेटा बता दे The southern tip of South America, the end point of our migration. Over the last century, entire regions of the world have been unlocked, even places without airports. There's a country off the coast of India that's made up of 1,200 tiny islands. Most of the islands are too small for runways, and their surrounding waters are too shallow for ships. The seaplane keeps this island country connected. is the sky and the ocean. It goes anywhere a boat can go, and some places a boat can't. Because seaplanes can touch down just about anywhere, we can reach every part of this country. In the age of airplanes, we become explorers once again. Antarctica, one of the last places on Earth to be mapped. No. Well, it may look